Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see what is British literature. So before drive into the topic, let me explain what is British literature. British literature is also called as UK literature. So the writings are from England, Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales. In the first unit, the first topics we have in the syllabus is Of Truth and of Adversity by Francis Bacon. Francis Bacon, he is 16th century essayist and he became very famous author in King James I period and his most important work is Advancement in Learning which is published in the year 1605. So let me discuss what is Of Truth in, in short. After the essay, it started with the opening line from biblical reference that is what is truth. Said by Justin Pilate and would not stay for an answer. In this essay, Francis Bacon differentiated truth and falsehood. Falsehood brings disgrace, truth bestows honor. And the truth is compared to your open daylight whereas lie is compared to your candlelight. So this is the comparison given by uh, Francis Bacon in this essay of truth, even a beautiful quote, a mixture of lie that ever add man pleasure. So we are telling lies and we are, even he incorporated his um, inspiration, Montaigne, a French philosopher quote in this essay, that is uh, a man who, who is telling lie is brave towards God and covered towards a man. And the wonderful quote from Of Truth is, A liar is a man who is brave towards God but covered toward a man. So this is the thing we are discussed now. And next one of adversity. So in everyone's life we have prosperity and also adversity. How we, we feel very happy during the prosperity time. Similarly we have to feel happy and we have to accept the situation that we are facing during the hardest time in the time of adversity. It also started with a wonderful quote of a Stoic philosopher, first century Roman philosopher Seneca. Let me read out the line. It was a high speech of Seneca, Bacon begins, that the good things which belongs to pros prosperity ought to be wished, but the good things that belong to adversity ought to be admired. A person who has to who is to able to manage prosperity and adversity in an equal manner, they will attain success. And the prosperity is the blessings of the Old Testament and adversity is the blessing of the New Testament. Prosperity discovers vice whereas adversity discovers virtue. At the concluding of this essay, Francis Bacon emphasized a man has to handle both adversity and prosperity in an equal manner. And the next one is, it explores the dark side of urban life, describes the scene at 2 o'clock in the city night on a city street, cries on seeing the poor and homeless on the street. So this is the lines I had taken from the work of Oliver Goldsmith essay, A City Night Piece. In this work, Oliver Goldsmith descri described and discussed how the city is flooded with the people in the daytime and how the city is very empty, very gloomy, very dark in the night time. How the people who is who are having home to stay, simply I can say that homeless people, how those kind of people are suffering at the night time. He beautifully described in the essay a city night piece. And next to work, Joseph Fadison and Sir Richard Steele. So the works we are having from these two authors are The Spectator Club by Richard Steele on gratitude and on giving advice. Joseph Addison and Richard Steele both are, uh, you know, jointly uh, produced a lot of periodicals to English literature which are very familiar and uh, that is the, uh, you know, those periodicals only pave a way to writing novels. And uh, so the bond date is 1672 to 1791 and 1672 to and both are uh, closely contemporary writers. In the Spectator Club, he discussed the members who are visiting the club frequently and how they are discussing the political and other things uh, in the Spectator. So they are mentioning all those things in their uh, periodicals. So that's all in the Unit 1. Let me uh, meet you all in the Unit 2 video. Thank you.